Today I'm going to talk about HbA1c and why this is probably the most important marker when we're looking at blood sugars. My name is Dominique Ludwig and I'm a nutritionist. So lots of us have been wearing blood sugar monitors to see what happens for those daily ups and downs on our blood sugar curve. We've also seen there's now a tablet to help reduce that blood sugar curve. But how do we really know if those blood sugar highs and lows are contributing to health issues for us? And so what we do in functional nutrition is we look at the HbA1c and this is called the haemoglobin A1c and it's a mark of how much sugar has been in your blood over a three month period. So your blood cells last about 90 to 120 days each. And as the month progresses, the more sugar that's been in our blood sticks to the red blood cells, a bit like um, hitchhikers on a raft. And we measure how much sugar is stuck on those red blood cells. And because they die off every three to four months, we get a really good picture of what's happened over the last three months. So even though we might get highs and lows on our daily graphs, it's the HbA1c that counts. For diabetes, we want to be having an HbA1c that's less than 42 millimoles per mole. And healthy HbA1c is actually around 20 to 42. So looking at the HbA1c gives us a much better picture of where we are with our blood sugars than just wearing a blood sugar monitor.